Hi everyone, in this video we will design the KMP algorithm and we will analyze the time complexity of it. So let's design. So if you remember the concept of KMP algorithm in our previous videos where we have solved many examples and seen how to make prefix table and how to solve for the KMP method. So if you remember we have to do two things that is first we have to make a prefix table for a pattern and then we used to compare with that text right. So there will be a two functions so first function that is your prefix computation. So in prefix computation what will be the input just your pattern right that will be input. So let's say m is equal to your pattern length right. And what we do, we used to define a new array that is from 1 to m. That is a new array. Remember a table, new array that is nothing but a prefix table. This is only called as prefix table. If you remember this, like this kind of structure a, b, a, c. And if you remember for the rule of our prefix table, we initialize first character. We initialize first character to 0 that is pi of 1 will be initialized to 0 that is initializing I am just writing here initializing first character to 0 right then what we do let's say k which is nothing but a count to a 0 so I just write it what does it mean k is nothing but it is a count so we used to find the largest count right that a a that is 1 a b a b or a b c a b c so we'll use this right rather than using a b 1 2 or 3 our prefix value will be 3 right are you getting it that is the count which tells the longest suffix equals to its prefix right are you getting it just we are analyzing the concept that's all so then you will go for a loop so for q is equals to 2 for the second value 2m that is from second character you will check prefix and suffix right while k is greater than 0 and your prefix pattern k plus 1 doesn't matches with p of q in that case k is equals to pi of k right that is nothing but comparing prefix and suffix that's all if if your p of k plus 1 is equals to p of k then what you will do you will just increment k is equal k plus 1 right and at the end you will be filling the prefix table right and just you will be returning return pi so this will be the value and you will be putting that value is it okay is this prefix computation is clear to you nothing but you will give a pattern as input you will be initializing an empty array here so first character will be 0 that is the count k is responsible for the count right if then you will start the second character because at q equals to 1 sorry at q equals to 1 you already initialized to 0 so q is equals to 2 you will see so at q equals to 2 you will start your loop you will check the prefix and the suffix and whatever the largest number matches you will write that with the k and you will return the value right now kmp algorithm so in kmp algorithm function you will be using right so this is the main function which will be using so here text will be input pattern will be in, uh, also a input right so let's say n is equals to so first step that is your text length you will initialize then you will initialize pattern length also and whatever the 
prefix table you have computed that also you type right that is your prefix computation i'll just write that prefix computation p right now the fourth what you do you initialize q20 remember that is index i'm just writing here index of pattern is initialized to 0 you remember the algorithm and uh, we start from text that is we initialize text from i equals to 1 therefore for loop for i equals to 1 to end we do then we initialize if q is greater than 0 and p of q plus 1 is not matching with t of i in that case q is equals to pi of q remember if doesn't matches if doesn't matches we used to give q as pi of q remember it's very simple designing of algorithm we are just following these steps if you remember t of i if matches with p of q plus 1 we used to increment i and q if it doesn't then we used to initialize uh, q2 pi of q and if q is already 0 then we used to in, in, increment i right so that's logic only i am applying so if p of 2 plus 1 is equals to t of i in that case your q will be your q plus 1 and if your p of right sorry if i just remove this just removing it so your q what will be your q so your in that case q will be pi of q and your right that's it right so let's analyze the time complexity here so if you see here pi do pi has any loop yeah if you see pi has do which is working for m times right which is working for m times so this pi is working for o of m and this is working for o of n right yeah so therefore time complexity so therefore time complexity will be nothing but o of m into n right and uh, you remember that n is greater than m so you can write as o of m by neglecting or analyzing m right so this is your kmp algorithm thank you